Oh, this is dragging on. Um, maybe the sword and shield wasn't the best choice for this fight. But I mean, the the long sword is it's ridiculous. It's just trying to get a um, a spirit charge every time you can and. Well, the I guess the great sword is, is kind of nice. You can just wait for him to do his turning around animation and do um, a great sword charge in in the face. It's a bit easy to predict when he's going to turn around compared to some other monsters. And by some other monsters, I mean the barrier. The barrier, which you'll probably see me fight with this exact same setup. Except for Capture Guru, I don't know, maybe I'll replace that talisman with a. Um, I don't know with um <sighs> with a nice resistance plus ten talisman or something. Okay, he's coming out of the, he came out of the water. Um. Should make this a bit easier for me. Oh, I was hoping you could kind of like, um. Well, when he's underwater and he's d and he does that attack, he you can roll towards his chest and it won't hit you. It will sort of wrap around you and it won't do any damage. I sort, I sort of wanna cut the tail off, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it with a sword and shield. <laughs> that was great. I mean, the fight is just so much easier when you're when you're in land. Essentially, he's just a a bigger royal Ultra that can shoot out lightning bolts and roar. I guess when he does, I guess when he has like that electric aura around him, the area of effect of that attack gets gets bigger. Oh, I still can't capture him, right? No. And there goes the horns. Okay, so I broke everything I can. Except for the back. I hope I can break the back, but it's harder to do when he's... When he's on land, because you can't just load over him and attack. That's the one good thing about fighting underwater. You can pretty much position yourself any anywhere.
But the great thing about fighting on land is that he can't do the double hip check. Oh, he's going to the water. And he, I still can't capture him. Oh, God, he's so... It's so tiresome fighting this guy. Ouch. <laughs> I know I can't break his back, but... So I won't be actively going for it. If I'm just there, <laughs> if the back is just there for me to hit, I'll just try, but don't expect me to break it. Oh crap, I need to get out of the water. <laughs> that could have been bad. You know, the Lagigers can't can try to shoot <laughs> to shoot lightning bolts out of the water <laughs> I wish instead of doing that he would come out and try to attack you oh god um, I'm not doing that great now no 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 oh crap oh thank god God, he launched me out of the area. I was starting to get worried. Yo, I can't believe I'm... I used so many mega potions. And I can't even capture him yet. Bottom line, um, fighting uh, like a Crusolo underwater with a sword and shield isn't isn't easy at all. Wait, did I break the pack? No, I think I didn't. <laughs> or did I am? I can't see anything. Oh no, I didn't break it. Just flinched at him. Black Eagles just flinched. Oh, just... I was just barely out of reach. Oh. I can't see anything from here. Um, I'm going to go a bit... deeper. I can't believe I can't capture him yet. I've been hitting him like crazy. Maybe I will be able to break his back. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. It's just lately I've been hitting it quite a lot.
Supplies delivered. Hmm. How long into this quest am I anyway? Like, I don't know, half an hour? <laughs> If I don't like getting, like, <laughs> two videos for one hand, I surely don't like getting three videos for one hand. I may have to do some editing. Okay, I'm going to use my last Mega Potion. <laughs> oh, that still hit me. Um kinda hard <laughs> guessing the range from this position. The range of the Lagicus attacks in this position. Oh he's ready to be captured. Oh thank god. Okay let's let's do it. One, two. And that was it. Uh, finally, the um, the Lagi Crusant, and uh, well, that took <laughs> quite a while. Um, good luck, people, and goodbye.